everyone. Thanks for coming out here today. We really do appreciate you. Thanks for your continuous support and thanks for always um, staying tuned to our channel. We are here to keep you updated with the latest and most authentic happenings in our country. The news reaching us at the moment is from the chief of army staff, the person of Tuko Borutai. He is um, sending out a strong warning to his troops. I'm um, warning them against cowardice, against sabotage and inefficiency um, of any order. We don't know if this one is coming as a result. We know a couple of um, a week ago or so, um, one of the soldiers um, the, he made a video that went viral where he was um, screaming that they are not treated properly, they are dying, they are suffering, and this is what they go through and all of that. So I don't know if that is why he's warning the other guys, if anyone tries to do such a thing, because that video really attracted a lot of traffic and gave a lot of backlash to um, the chief of um, army staff. So it's um, for warning the troops. We'll get more details um, in a moment, but before we do, guys, please, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, click on the subscribe button down below, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit on the like button. We really do appreciate you. Thank you once again for your continuous support. So, right, let's get more details um, about what the Chief of Army Staff um, is saying. We will no longer accept cowardice, sabotage, inefficiency under any guise. Borutai warns troops. Against the backdrop of ongoing military operations against national security threats and procurement of new sophisticated hardware, the Chief of Army Staff, General Lutai Bratai, has warned troops against cowardice and sabotage as well as inefficiency under any guise. With several newly acquired military hardware, especially armored battle tanks, it is the belief of the Army Chief that enemies of the country, be they terrorists, armed bandits, or militants, would be crushed in mission areas when troops show commitment and display high level of professional skills. General Brutai gave the warning on Wednesday when he visited the headquarters of the Nigerian Army Armored Corps and School and the 33 Artillery Brigadier, all in Bauchi, to assess troops training in the operation of main battle tanks and long-range artillery gunfire. Colonel Saji Musa, acting director, Army Public Relations, in a statement noted that the chief of army staff assessed ongoing VT4 main battle tank training in which 155 officers and soldiers are undergoing training for competent commanders crewmen, drivers, and technicians. Addressing the instructors, staff, and 155 participants, all ranks, General Brutai expressed satisfaction on the quality and level of training, commitment, and discipline of the participants. He said, your discipline, commitment, and assimilation is so far quite encouraging and commendable. You should continue to learn well and be able to efficiently operate the new platforms in readiness to your deployment into the mission areas. While I commend your efforts to the training, let me warn you that you must operate and handle new equipment proficiently. We will not accept cowardice, sabotage or inefficiency under any guides whatsoever. General Brutai further urged the participants to maintain high standards of professionalism, effectiveness, and discipline in whatever roles they might be assigned or deployed to. He commended the commandants, instructors, and staff of the school for a good job and directed the students to cooperate fully and learn as well as to apply what they have learned practically and effectively in the war front. The course participants, through their course leader, appreciated and commended the inspiring leadership of General Brutai and his uncommon efforts in the struggle to end terrorism in Nigeria. They assured him of unflinching support and commitment to bring terrorism to an end very soon, leveraging fully on the newly acquired equipment by the Nigerian army. General Brutai used the opportunity to assess the living condition of some soldiers in Shadakwa Barracks, 33 Brigade Bauchi, whose roofs were destroyed by rainstorm 
on which repairs are already ongoing as seen during the visits to the affected areas. Colonel Sagi said the visit to the site reflected General Brutai's disposition of placing troops' welfare as one of his topmost priority, noting that construction and renovation of accommodation for personnel of Nigerian Army is equally ongoing in most of the Nigerian Army barracks across the country, just like in Lagos, Jos, Enugu, and Portacot, amongst others. So, my people, that's the one I'm reaching us this morning. Also, General Brutai is sending out this message um, to the troops. And uh, the, the one thing he, he made sure that he pointed out was that um, the welfare of the soldiers is what is their topmost priority, that they want to see that they are in good condition. But we remember that soldier that came online, it, it, it was a very short clip. He was actually crying saying that um, they, they, they are being sent to go and die, meaning that um, they are not well equipped, they are not well trained, so they are just sending them to battles where they don't even have advantage and then um, they are going to die. That particular soldier was even just, he was sharing, he was airing that video just after he lost one of his friends to one of the battles, one of the missions they were assigned to. Now um, General Brutai is saying that uh, he's saying something different now to the public, that um, the, the soldiers, uh, their welfare is of their topmost um, priority and they are going to see that um, they are all well um, given the kind of support, everything they need. I mean, the training they are giving to them is well commendable. And right now he's saying that um, they've um, purchased new uh, um, equipment, they've purchased some um, new armor tanks to be able to go into this, is it the Sambesa uh, forest, to go and um, combat this terrorist and this Boko Haram haram people but um nigerians have got a different um, view a different opinion about um, what um, Buruta uh, is saying we'll, we'll get let's just get uh, a few of the comments and see what's going on here so someone here has said that uh, what have you done to raise their morale we are talking about humans here even a horse throws the rider off if it cannot stand the stress you see what we're talking about nigerians know that um, even the soldiers they are not well uh, they are not properly motivated it's only now Boruta is saying that uh, he noticed that some of the soldiers and um, their houses are not in good condition the rain and the storm have blown the roof off so they are they are carrying out renovation and they um, seeing that um, they put everything in place it is very important so that they motivate these people because if they are not properly motivated they cannot really do all that they have to do. If that man that was crying out on that video, I don't think he was properly motivated. If he was motivated, if he feels that everything is in place, he will not air that kind of um, video. Um, someone else here is saying that the same people who have been sabotaging our military have come out to threaten themselves. You know, people believe that uh, Borotai, he has hand in this... Uh, um, this ongoing Boko Haram, why this fight is never coming to an end. They, are, they keep saying that we are almost taking over, we are almost winning the battle, and it's never ending. This person is of the opinion that uh, um, Buruta is one of the people even sabotaging um, the military, but he's the one here giving out threats that whoever sabotages, um, something will um, happen to the person and all of that. So you see, Nigerians have different opinion, but he's coming out to the public to to say that kind of thing. That uh, he's maybe sending out a different message here that uh, I'm not a sabotage, I'm not the one, but anyone found um, doing such a thing um, will be brought to a book or will be dealt with uh, properly. So Nigerians, that's what's happening with our military our soldiers at the moment. The chief of um, army staff has got that to say he's warning the troops at the moment. And uh, we can see that uh, these soldiers, uh, they've not been properly motivated. That is the plain truth. He's only just noting, making those and uh, uh, um, um, citation that um, they are renovating some of their houses. Anyways, that's the news reaching us, guys. Please leave your take, leave your comments down below in the comment section. Let's hear what you feel and what you think about them. Uh, what Amburita has just said. We really want to appreciate all of our valued and dear subscribers. We do appreciate you. Thank you for subscribing and thanks for always attracting new subscribers to our channel. And please, if you haven't yet subscribed, guys, click on the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit on the like button. It does mean a lot to us. Till I come your way again, it's bye for now and God bless.